Speaking of Mark Ruffalo, let's pull up his tweet. Let's pull up his tweet. Nobody ever suspects that actors may act on Twitter. Aren't they actors? So you would never suspect that maybe they're acting. Mark Ruffalo apologized. He apologized. And boy, did he apologize. This lets you know right now that um, everyone is fucking full of shit. Pull up his apology. I think you can just Google yeah. Yeah, apology for Israel or something like that. No funny. Um, yeah, because that issue, the Israel and Palestine issue, is, is very complicated, dude. You know, a lot of people don't know that uh, Palestinians, here he goes, I have reflected, Mark Ruffalo, I have reflected and want to apologize. Let me do it in his voice. I have reflected and I want to apologize for posts during the recent, I can't, I don't know why I said that. I can't do a Mark Ruffalo impersonation. Nobody can, okay? I've reflected and I want to apologize for posts during the recent Israel-Hamas fighting that suggested Israel is committing genocide. Wow, he went hard on the tweet. Yeah. It's not accurate. It's inflammatory, disrespectful, and is being used to justify anti-Semitism here and abroad. Now is the time to avoid hyperbole. Now is the time to avoid hyperbole? When people who employ you said, Bumpy, we saw your tweet. That's a no-no. You fucking phony. Now's the time to not apply hyperbole when you could lose a couple of dollars from it. You fucking self-interested grifting hypocrite. Read the fucking lines on the script, say Hulk smash, and shut the fuck up. You're lucky because you're not as handsome as Brad Pitt. You're a decent fucking actor and you got a every man's face. Shut your fucking mouth, you Cobble Hill living, you West Palm fucking vacationing, dumb fucking Hollywood actor. You're not down to earth just because you went to Williamsburg to get a beer one time. Shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> Now's the time not to play. That's your whole fucking Twitter feed is hyperbole. But now suddenly you're going to draw the line? Yeah, I mean, these fucking idiots are commenting on the Israel-Palestine conflict like, they've, like they've, they've got a degree from American University from the School of International Studies, okay? Everyone shut your mouth unless you know what you're talking about. It's not as easy as that, okay? A lot of people don't even know that... Palestine was not taken from the Palestinians. It was taken from the Ottoman Empire by the British and given to the Jews. And there were Jews there. And guess what they were called? Palestinians. Did you know that? Right? There were no Palestinians back then because there was either Jews or Arabs and they were all Palestinians because they lived in that area. So you were either an Arab or a Jew or a Christian and they all lived there and they were all called Palestinians. Then, yes, the British gave it to the Jews. And then, yes, the right of return and Zionism. Yes, there's issues with that. Yes. But it's not so fucking simple for you to go one bad, the other good. Nothing ever really is. This isn't a fucking comic book. So shut your fucking comic book fucking mouth. Mark Ruffalo, you're an actor. You're an actor. You didn't go to fucking Harvard. You know, how much time have you spent in fucking Israel? How many Palestinians do you know? How many fucking Israelis do you know? Shut your fucking mouth and say Hulk smash before I fucking what's the dull as your face. I mean, aren't you sick of these Twitter people just fucking mouthing off about the Israel-Palestine conflict like they're going to solve it on Twitter? You know what I'm saying? That's why I made that joke the other day. I was like... Uh, it's over. There's been a ceasefire. I mean, are you fucking kidding, dude? You could scroll back on Twitter to any year and you'll see people going, wow, there's some rocket fire and some fucking, there's some, it's going to keep happening, dude. There's no solution. What do you want me to tell you? And then everyone acts like they don't live, they don't live, uh, uh, live well because of the benefits of fucking imperialism. Yeah, no, America was just, you know, you know, and also Indian tribes, you know, the, why did they have warriors? They, you know, for pretend, for dances? Before the white man came, what were, what were all those warriors doing? And those human sacrifices where they rolled kids and ate their hearts. What were they doing? Was that for a play? Was that for, uh, for a Eugene O'Neill play? I mean, wh wh what fantasy land are you living in? Are, are we all three, third graders? Are we all like, are we all like fucking like fragile little six-year-olds? You know, it's like, Every country is a country because someone got fucked. 
I mean, what are you going to do? And the people who were there who got fucked, guess what? They fucked somebody before that. And if they didn't fuck other humans, they fucked some animals out of their territory. So people get fucked, dude. This is nature. It's horrible. Are we past it now? Hopefully. Can we find a solution? I hope. But grow the fuck up, Mark Ruffalo, okay? I've had enough of you. Act. Let me have the opinions that matter. <laughs> Let me do it. This is, the problem right now is like everyone wants to be a comedian, right? So you have like the Weinstein brothers that are up there giving their fucking opinions on everything, right? Um, now they're content. Everyone's a content creator. So like they're essentially doing what I'm doing, but they're saying they're serious when they're really just doing it for content, right? You got to have something to talk about. Now me, I'm doing the same shit to you. I'm basically fucking stealing your money and uh, you know, this, this is just bullshit, but at least I got charisma. At least I'm crazy. So you're entertained. Okay, I'm entertaining you, you know? Mark Ruffles is gonna sit up there and be like, you know, we gotta do something about the wage gap. And you're like, shut the fuck up and read the lines, Hulk. 